Rolle's theorem and roots. Prove that the function f of x equals x cubed plus 2x minus 7 has only one real root. Well, first of all, we know it's a polynomial, so it is continuous for all real numbers. And second of all, if we sample some values, we notice that f of 1 is negative 4, f of 2 is positive 5. And so the fact that it's negative one place and, and positive in another place means it has to cross zero somewhere in between them because it's continuous. So we know it has one root. But then the question is, does it have only one root? Well, think about it this way. According to Rolle's theorem, if it had a root and then another root, of course it's continuous. So at some place in the middle, it's continuous and differentiable, at some place in the middle, it would need to have a zero derivative. Well, let's take the derivative of this function. f prime of x equals 3x squared plus 2. And the question is, where does this equal zero? Well, if we think about the graph of this, 3x squared plus 2, we graph f prime of x, what we get is a very skinny parabola that is centered on the y-axis and it has been shifted up from the origin. So this, this graph, of course this is the graph of f prime of x, this graph has no roots. This graph never equals zero. And so the fact that this graph never equals zero means that f of, f of x can only have one root. It can never turn around and have a second root because in order to turn around and have a second root, it would have to have a place somewhere where the derivative is zero. So therefore, we have proved that even though f has one root, it has only one root. And so that is an example of an argument about roots using Rolle's theorem.